Hello, happy Wednesday, and welcome to the HAPS Takeover. We have Cooking Edition here with Alexis and Gemma, who are going to be making a fluffy egg omelet. Uh, I'm going to bring them both up here on screen. Thank you so much for sharing your culinary prowess with us all. And uh, this sounds like a really fun recipe. Uh, people can follow along at home or they can watch the replay and uh, may be able to recreate this, which is really cool. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, Gemma, introduce yourself and tell us where you're from. Uh, yeah, so I'm Gemma and I'm from uh, Leeds in England. And uh, yeah, I've done like quite a bit of cooking, crafty stuff, bit of everything really. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and I'm also, I've not made this particular kind of omelet before, so I'm learning too. All right. And is Thomas with you today? Not at the moment, but I can't promise you won't pop in. Okay. All right. And my name is Alexis and I live here in Southeast coastal Georgia. I am an independent consultant for Pampered Chef, which means I sell Pampered Chef tools only here in the United States. So the tools you'll see are all available for sale. You just have to follow me and say, hey, I want to order that. Okay. We do have a couple parties going on, which I'd love to have your, your order on there. I'm going to uh, put this on. All right. So we are doing a fluffy omelet. I've done these many, many times and it, it just looks impressive and you can do this at home and Gemma's never done this. And we just got it together like a few minutes ago. And I said, make sure you have two eggs out there. Make sure you have uh, a pan with the lid. All right. I'm going to show you my pan with my lid. All right. I'm using a 10 inch uh, fry pan. And it has the lid, all right, that you can put on top of it because you're going to actually sort of steam your uh, egg, all right? You're going to mm -hmm. separate our egg whites and our yolks, and we're going to froth up our egg whites, all right? So, Jeremy, you have any questions right one? now? Do you think I should use a bigger one? Uh, uh, the, the smaller one is fine as long as you have a lid to it. You should be okay. Yeah, it's about a six inch, I think. Okay, I'm gonna flip my camera around and show you the tools I'm using right here. All right. All right, I'm not, Gemma is using an electric mixer or um, whisk for her egg whites. So we're gonna get our eggs and we're gonna uh, separate them. Got your eggs? You gonna separate them, Gemma? No, I have something that's supposed to separate them, but. Okay. I've never Let's used see. it, so this could end up really badly. I do have spare eggs. <laughs> I don't have any spare eggs, so this has to work. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need this one. Actually, I'm going to be using a one cup uh, prep bowl to put the yolks in, and then the whites are going to go in the whipped cream maker. Now, this is a little tool by Pampered Chef that you can make a fresh whipped cream and make your own flavor in it. I like chocolate whipped cream and almond whipped cream and cherry whipped cream. Uh, you just put your whipped cream in here with your sugar and your flavors. You up and down it for 30 seconds, you got whipped cream. But we always want to have uh, dual uses for our kitchen tools. And so I'm going to put my egg whites in here. And we're going to froth up egg whites. You can only do two egg whites in this at any time. All right. You sep oh, you're separating yours. Okay. I got to do mine by hand. And I'm going to open it. And hopefully you not get any yolk in the whites. Yeah. That actually worked really well. Like, Did it? Well, I, I don't want to jinx it because I've got another one, so I'm going to show yeah. up. <laughs> but, yeah, Doing my by hand. This is the way my mom taught me and her mom taught me. I don't know, her, tell her mom. Her, her, her mom taught her. All right, so we're going to just put that in again. Don't get any yolks in the whites. Otherwise, it won't work. Yeah. You have to start it's all like over when again. you do it with meringue, it messes it up. If you're making meringue, I've made exactly. meringue Yep. And if you get any yolk in it, it totally messes it up. Yep. So that's mine. Karen loves the whipped cream maker. She has this at her house. All right. Um, she yeah, does her whipped cream making... Uh, coconut. She uses coconut cream to make whipped cream if you are a vegan. All right, so we're going to put in a, just a tad bit of water in our two yolks. Like, I would even say, I'm going to say less than that. Uh, in the yolks? Yeah, put a half of a teaspoon in your yolks. Maybe even 
uh, no, quarter of a teaspoon, just a tad bit of water so that you can, uh, it just mixes it up just a little bit. And you can get a spoon or whatever you can mix it up with and mix up your egg yolks and a yeah. little bit of water. It's just going to make it spread a little bit easier. And I have some yolk, I have some whites in here. All right, good enough. All right, next thing we're going to do, you got them all mixed up, okay? Yeah. You're going to get your, you're going to start frothing up your egg whites. So you're going to use your electric mixer and I'm going to pump this in the whipped cream maker. All right. And I got a little bit of yolk right down here. Just clean up as you go. So it's a lot easier. And again, it's the whipped cream maker. We have two egg whites in here. Gemma is using an electric mixer and I'm using my angle. This is like a race. <laughs> Which one's going to do it? Michelle says, I have the same electric mixer and it works great. Loving the new haircut, says Gemma. Or it says Danny to Gemma. Oh, thank you. <laughs> whip it, whip it, whip it. It's good. Peter says, hooray. All right. Hello, everyone. TG group. TJ can't believe it. Gwen. How's your egg white whites coming? Getting quite uh, bubbly. All right. Is that right. It should be uh, stiff peaks, just right, like you're I doing can, meringue. <laughs> Right. Yours is doing a lot better than mine. <laughs> now this has a paddle. I'm trying to get all my egg whites off the paddle so that it can go into the omelet. And again, this is Gemma's first time ever making this. And I really, <laughs> it's a challenge because... <laughs> I bet you could turn butter. Yes, you can make butter in this. You can put heavy whipping cream in here and um, go to town on it and make compa compound butters with it also. I've done it once. I've done the butter once. You have to have it at a right temperature though. All right, so all my egg whites are ready to go here. Drink water. <laughs> this is taking longer than the one that you have. <laughs> Just keep going. Keep it going. Getting that up. Oh, you're looking good. Oh, my gosh. That's a lot. You have two eggs in there? That looks like a lot of egg whites. Yeah, two eggs. Okay. Dina, Dina Cooper says, I've done that to egg whites by hand in the past. Mixer was broken. Do not oh. recommend. I don't recommend doing this, no. this um, with uh, whisking it. <laughs> I did. I tried it with hand once when I was making meringue. I gave it up as a bad job. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jess, how are you doing? That looks good, says Michelle. It looks good. Is it? Is it thick peaks? Um, you don't want it overdone. You look like you have a lot more than I do. I'll just get a spoon and show you. Like, there you go. Like, yeah, put it up to me. Is that about right? As, yeah, as long as it's stiff. Yeah. Yeah, it, it looks, is. It looks good. It looks good. Okay. All right, we're going to move my camera and we're going to get the stove. And this is where when you cook this on in your pan, or you have to make sure that you have a pan with the lid because what's gonna happen is it's gonna heat from the bottom up and the, the top is gonna trap it and it's gonna come down and, and cook it from the top down. Now, you don't keep your pan very hot. Don't turn on your uh, uh, stove until you're ready to put your egg yolks down and your egg whites right on top and then immediately put your lid on it, all right? I'm gonna put a little bit 
of olive oil on the bottom. It does, it, you don't have to because this is a nonstick pan, but it makes it really easy to slide off. All right. You do too much by hand. <laughs> ah, all right, let's see. All right, everybody have, does anybody have any questions of what we're doing right now? Okay. And I, I don't know where you are yet. Are you on the stove yet? I've just put the oil in. Okay. Don't turn it on. Did you turn it on? No, no, I've not turned it on yet. Okay. So I'm going to spray mine with the oil. I'm using my kitchen spritzer by Pampered Chef. Okay. Great tool to have because it sprays a nice, nice little coating. And all I, I need is so right in the middle. I'm huh? bringing a suitcase to just bring back Pampered Chef. And okay. Well, we, then we need to have a party so that we can get it discounted yeah. for you. That's the best way to get Pampered Chef is hosting a party. Mm -hmm. All right. So I have my little oil in here. Not not a whole lot. All right. You yeah. can even like spread it around with your finger. You see, I don't have that much on there. All right. All right. So the next thing you're going to do is, are you ready to turn on your uh, uh, stove? Yeah. All right. Now, as soon as we turn it on, you're going to add your, you're going to add your yolks and then put your egg whites on top. Okay. So yolk first okay. and egg whites. Yeah. Add it on. Let it go That's for like maybe. 10 oh, seconds or so. And then we're going to add in our egg yolks right on top. Yep. Or on the bottom, right on top of the, there you go. It's sort of round. And now I'm going to quickly add in my egg whites right on top of the yolks. Now this is a fun thing to do. You can only do really the two eggs at a time. I haven't, uh, unless you're doing it like G uh, Gemma and she uh, did a lot, she can probably do a lot more, but I can only do two eggs in my, a whipped cream maker at one time. Do not do any more. It won't work. All right, so I'm going to try and spread this out just a little bit so it's as wide as my my yolks down there. There you go. Tap it down and just work quickly. I am working a little bit slow right here. I'm trying to get it I'll all. Put it on low light. Is that all right? All right. Now I'm going to put my lid on, and we're going to cook it. It is on medium heat. Don't put it on high heat. Never cook anything on high heat. It just doesn't work, and it'll scorch the bottom of it. Hey, Danny. Hello, Carrie Long. This is fun to watch, says uh, Michelle. <laughs> oh, lady in red. There you go. All right. So we're doing a different type of egg. I love eggs, and you can you can do eggs probably a thousand different ways. This is just one way, and it'll surprise your your uh, family when you show them this. I had actually Bryce Bryce's uh, college kids came home last year, and uh, I made them these eggs, and they're like, "Oh my god, this is just two eggs!" I'm like, "Yeah, this is just two eggs that we're using here." All right. If anybody is interested in doing some. Uh, cooking broadcast with us we would really appreciate it just reach out to us and saying hey i want to cook something simple with you or something elaborate we can do caramel corn i still have to do caramel corn yet um what else i love my apple walnut muffins i've been doing those are just phenomenally and i've been losing weight uh in the last two years about 50 pounds is what i've lost by eating just healthier all right. I wish I could cook. So this is an awesome way to learn. Carrie Long, um, I would love to have you come in and teach you how to cook. You, you name something and we will cook it together. Uh, even if I've never done it before. Uh, Gemma wants to do curry and I've never done any curry before. I'm not yeah. sure if I even like it. <laughs> but I'll do it. I would love, but since I'm vegan, I would have to make it differently. You wouldn't be able to do this one, Karen, but you can do something else. Um, you can do the caramel popcorn, but it does take butter on it. So I'm not sure how that would come out on the vegan s side of it. But um, we the I think you can make my muffins, but you would have to use vegan eggs. No, it has the yogurt in it. But you have Greek. You have uh, vegan yogurt. I wonder how that would come out. Uh, curry is yummy. Michelle, how do you get your uh, words white? Your words are coming up white. Vegan butter is good. There you go. Uh, ironically, Gemma in Portuguese comes egg yolk. Means yeah. egg yolk. Okay. That's right. Egg. What about delicious it's cream brulee? I'm a sweet girl. I'm a sweet girl too, Carrie, but that cream brulee, um, I would have to see if I have a recipe. Uh, I've never done cream brulee. 
Um, I think I can do it in the one cup prep bowls and you would need a, um, a blowtorch to caramelize the top of it. So my is egg. a little bit more difficult. My egg is touching the top. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's going to expand. <laughs> now it's going to come. Now the thing is the first time I ever went live on hats here, I made this, but I overcooked it by a minute and it deflates. So what's happening here is those egg whites, you see how frothy they are? They mm -hmm. expand, All right? This is like a science experiment. If you have kids at your house, they will expand. But once you open the lid, they will def deflate just a little bit. So it's really okay. impressive when this comes out and you see how, how, how much they have expanded. So we're going to get a plate ready to go. Yeah, mine's huge. I feel like the bottom of it's maybe cooked because it's looking, it looks like it is. <laughs> All right. It's almost done, Jim. It's almost done. Only takes about four to five minutes to make this, but we're going to bring this out. And when it comes out, you can either leave it that way or I fold it in half because you can make it into a sandwich. Yeah, this thing will fold unless it does shrink. Yeah, you can it see, off. you can see oh, it. Is that too shrinking now? Okay, then we need to take it off because it does, it does, okay. it will um, get. There we oh, go. Yeah, we go. Get yourself a scraper and put it right. It's it will, it slides. You see, it's moving on my pan, and I'm gonna put it right on my 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 plate right here chef pans. this clearly even with oil is not a non-stick <laughs> all right and i'm just going to fold this in half i got it off but i'm going to fold it in half oh my gosh crap pan and voila you have the fluffiest omelet ever it stuck up the sides there we go that actually is pretty fluffy even though it got stuck to the side. Your ears deflated just a little bit. You must have had the heat on a little bit high, but this is definitely a fluffy, fluffy on. I had it on the lowest setting, but yeah. Like, really? Wow. Yeah. Oh, I got to turn off my oven, my stove. But, uh, I think I needed a bigger pan because when it touched yeah. the top, it really touched the top and then it started like deflating. Of, yeah. Okay. So I'm going right. to grate some cheese. In mine. Okay. Yeah, you can add uh, if you want. You can actually put um, uh, all your fixings, like if you like ham or veggies underneath the sauteed um, uh, veggies and caramelized onions and wilted spin spinach. You can actually put it on the bottom of it and eat it that way. I really don't think you can put it on the t inside of it because it will it will deflate on you. Now mm -hmm. all I do is add a little bit of salt and I don't even put pepper on this one. And you can eat it just like pick it up with your hands and eat it. And you're going to see me eat this. Just pick it up and it is warm. It is warm. But you can see how big it is. Oh God! <laughs> I'm gonna use a fork <laughs> because I feel like it'd be messy if I don't. <laughs> no. yeah. Eat with your hands. Those are so good. But you oh. have cheese on yours. Yeah, I'm just gonna like. But yeah. it does take practice. But you know the the concept now uh, mm -hmm. that you can. Uh. No, it's really good. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Looks like you're eating a taco filled with Gillette shaving cream. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it looks like it's it should be a, a dessert and not I an definitely egg. Definitely need a bigger pan. That's only like, I think it's maybe a six inch. Oh, it's a six inch. I thought it was an eight inch. Mm. Six inch is very small. I wonder why it's puffed Isn't up and you didn't have nowhere to go. Up. My next size up with um, a lid is like a 14, 15 inch. Yeah. So I well, don't, don't have anything in between that's got a lid. Yeah. Well, don't worry, Gemma. The first time I did this one on Haps here, if you go back to my very first broadcast, mm -hmm. it deflated on me. I was like, oops, six inches, not small. Just saying, says Danny. <laughs> yeah, but I was <clears throat> I was using a 10-inch pan, right? I also have an 8-inch, but I don't have a lid for my 8-inch. So the six, the 6 would even be smaller than this. I thought it was an 8. Yeah. It would work with an 8-inch this is where size matters clearly definitely size matters <laughs> oh, Thomas. 
smells very eggy in here. Yeah, it smells eggy. I yeah. can't imagine why. Yeah, it smells. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. Mm. Oh, I'm glad that wasn't on camera. <laughs> All right, so we are looking for people to broadcast some food or to be collaborators with our food people. We have a lot mm -hmm. of people around the world that would love for you to join them in their cooking uh, scopes, which is yeah. Anne over in, um, I think, Denmark, right? Then we have Denmark, Aiden. Yeah. And, and Gemma in the United Kingdom. Um, mm -hmm. We have Jay Opera in Branson, Missouri. Darby over in Colorado. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to think of else who else are the broadcasters. DDK, we have Deb down, mm -hmm. down under. She broadcasts. Uh, we have Jess over in Beirut. She also broadcasts food. Uh, there are several different food broadcasters, and we can help you cook better in the kitchen. Just come along and help us, okay? Mm -hmm. Or even just come in and moderate for us and talk to us while we're cooking would help us in our broadcast. We do those I, every um, Saturday. Is it Saturday, Sunday? Every every month? Yes, we do have half Saturday, and our next half mm -hmm. Saturday is Saturday, October 30th, and it is Halloween. And I forget what the theme is, uh, Gemma fall is it fall oh, yeah yeah so right. deanna else. hooper <laughs> she says um do any of you chefs have a way to uh use up bananas that does not involve an oven yes i do and it's called I ice cream well. uh, mm. I, I i use i freeze my bananas i get them when they're sort of ripe like about this ripe and uh slice them into coin size and you freeze them on some parchment, put them in your refrigerator, and you can use them in your blender. And you put in three bananas to, um, depending upon what liquid you're using, you can use almond milk or you can use as heavy fat as um, heavy whipping cream. The, the more fat content in it, the creamier it's going to be. I use almond milk with some vanilla. And then you can put any type of fruit in there and it becomes ice cream for you. Just blend it right up in there and it becomes ice cream. It is wonderful. What's your um, use for old bananas? Oh, um, I would say usually um, like a banana bread or banana cake, but that's with an oven. <laughs> um, I did do... Um, I'm trying to think if that... I have I have got um like a no bake cheesecake that I did, um and it was I had banana in it um strawberry banana cheesecake, and that's a no bake one. Okay. Um, they also said peanut butter and bananas are good together in smoothies, mm. or peanut butter and banana is a good mix. Yeah, yeah, the smoothies, and I've eaten my omelette live on hat. It's the first time I've eaten my tea on a broadcast. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I say tea, I, like dinner? Yeah. All right. De uh, Deanna says, I normally make either banana bread or banana cookies, but lack of oven freezer is an issue now. Oh, you don't have a freezer either? Oh, good grief, girl. Mm. Do you have an air fryer? <laughs> you can make um, banana pancakes also are really good, but you have to use a stove mm. on that one. You don't you don't eat tea, you drink tea, says Danny. <laughs> oh, here we go with that one. <laughs> All right, so is, it, is there any questions that you have with us? Uh, Gemma does crafting broadcast and food broadcast, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. What else do you do? Um, I've been going out and about a little bit. I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i got um, an English heritage card, so I can go to historical places and do things like that. Uh, I've got a couple of visits planned um, over the next few weeks. I'm going to be paying a visit to a place that was used in the, the Batman movie. Oh. And then there's some others that were used in... Um, there's one that was used in like a British TV series uh, that people will know. And I'm trying to think what else now. I've done a lot of resin craft, things like that. It's all kind of craft related cooking baking um but i'll i'll literally try anything basically so oh and i do the mental health broadcast with tim oh yeah that's right that's tonight true. as well uh that's, that's 11 o'clock uk time 
Deanna says, thank you for the banana suggestions. She also told on, on native graffiti, I might attempt a banana oat muffin in the microwave or I'll make pancakes. That sounds like a good solution. Mm -hmm. uh, do, Deanna, do you have a, a uh, air fryer? Air fryers work really good if you don't have a stove or a refrigerator mm -hmm. to get to use up those bananas. Yeah, I want to invest in an air fryer. I've seen how good they are when you're doing yours. But yeah. I don't think you'd get one as good as yours, though, to be honest. I just need to come to America, buy a suitcase <laughs> over there, and just bring back loads of Pampered Chef stuff. <laughs> well, I do have a mystery show going on today and tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And uh, if anybody wants to order on there, for every $25 you order, you get one ticket to win the house rewards. Pampered Chef is a direct marketing company where you can um, buy this stuff and use it at home. It does cook up really, like it makes cooking a breeze. Cleanup mm -hmm. is great because I have not, nothing left on this pan except for like a little piece that will fall right off, all right? Uh, make sure that when you use your pots and pans, do not stack them unless they are scratch proof. Do not put your hot pans in cold water because it shocks them. Uh, and if you can layer them with paper towels or, t or uh, even a cloth between them, it'll protect your, your investment because pots and pans are an investment in your kitchen. This is proof that you get what you pay for. Non-stick pan. Well, <laughs> and I scraped some of that out as well. I had to scrape it out because it got stuck. And I put quite a bit of oil in there as well. So wow. you really do get what you pay for with kitchen stuff. But that was just because you said it needed a lid. That was just one that... The, you do, um, oh gosh, what are they called? Poached eggs. It was a poached egg one that you stand yeah. them in. Whereas all my other ones, I've got some tea file ones, but they are without lids. Apart from a massive one that I've got, but that'd have been way too big. Danny says he loves his tea file, tea file, tea file frying pans there. Um, this was my first set of, of real cookware when I became a Pampered Chef consultant. I've been using these pans for about two years now. I, did, I had mismatched pots and pans here yeah, on everything. I didn't have. <laughs> I've got a couple of tea file ones, which are really good, but they don't have lids. So yeah. I feel like that's going to be my next investment. <laughs> pan with the, pan with lids. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely nonstick. That one did say nonstick, though, so... Karen, Karen, Karen used to buy all, all our Pampered Chef from me a long time ago, and she has everything a Pampered Chef. Oh, <laughs> I I, I she may so not have a grill. I have proposition envy with your kitchen, I really do, with all your stuff. It's like, I thought I had plenty of, like, gadgets and stuff, but I, yeah. honestly, I have serious kitchen envy when I watch your broadcasts. <laughs> no idea. Michelle Anderson says she loves her Pampered Chef knives. They are quality. And yes, they're all made. They're, the Pampered Chef knives are made in Germany. There's two different types of knives. The one is stainless steel and the other one mm -hmm. is our, our coated knives. You see me use the knives all the time. And it is your best tool in your kitchen is your knife because everything that you can do with gadgets, you can do with knives, but it does take a little bit longer and it takes a lot more skill. And mm -hmm. the correct way to you to hold a knife is to put your thumb right on the top of the where the blade part is, and then your forefinger on this side, wrap your three fingers around, and you are good, ready to go. All right. Uh, not so like, like this. That. I had a real bad habit holding my. Yeah, my I knife. Like, like that. Like no, just, just put it right over it. Grab it like, like that. Uh, no, no finger, no finger. There you go. Put your thumb on one side and your forefinger on the other side, just like this. Right. Thumb, forefinger. Right. Okay. Pinch it. Oh Pinch gosh, it. that's gonna take some getting used to. Yeah, and then just put wrap your three fingers around it, and you're ready to go. But this is the sturdiest way you can hold a knife. Okay. And I always said, if you ever see people in murder movies, they're not going around trying to kill somebody with their finger, point, mm. point your finger out. It's not going to work. No. <laughs> I know it's morbid, but there's deadly murder. tools in the kitchen. <laughs> You're all about the knife skills. Yeah. And, yeah, and <laughs> this one here is a Santuco knife because it has little um, like divots in here so that the food doesn't stick. And this one goes straight um, down when you when you chop. The other I'm one is this. your um, chef's knife. And this one here is the real chef's knife. This is a stainless steel one. And again, you put your thumb on one side and it feels really good because there's like a little indent mm -hmm. right here and around. And this one, it's a rock and roll motion so that you can go down like this when you don't you yes. see those chefs going like this. But the correct way of holding a knife this way all right 
and I put this back in the block, all your knives should be sharpened at least every five to six uses. I said five to six uses. Hold your what? knives like serial kills. <laughs> oh, I haven't used that the serial killer vibe. <laughs> So, yeah. but it's true <laughs> y'all are going to be looking at the Halloween guy right <laughs> and seeing how he's holding his knife so I had to more, um... yeah, even, even on this one you see how it's small it is like I have my finger down just cut it sometimes I'll go back on it but usually my finger my forefinger is already there yeah. and I do keep these ones have little they all have covers unless they're in the block itself but definitely keep a cover on it. Never put a knife in your in your drawer because it's going to dull your knife, but it also may injure you. Yeah, I've done that. I've got a magnetic strip. And then I do have okay, that's another way of doing it. Yep, the magnetic strip. But I didn't know that you're supposed to sharpen your knives every five to six uses. Uh, oh, no. I because do they're... every month or so, depending on how much I use them. But... Yeah, it's actually supposed to be almost every week if you cook at home a lot. <laughs> I'm like, is this feeling oh. sharp? Before I come live, I'm like, Oh, this one's not sharp. I go and I, I sharpen it before I come in. Yeah. Why would it dull your knife? Why would what dull my knife? The um, uh, when you use oh, it, oh. it's dulling it. Yeah. Cooking and safety with the Lexus. Yes, Lucia, that is true. <laughs> in the drawer because you're just banging it in there. It's going to hit other tools. Um, you just don't know what's happening when it's all in a drawer. It's just mm -hmm. unsafe unless it has the cover on it. Keep the cover on it and then put it in the drawer. All yeah. right, it's a lot safer. We do have some with covers on, but uh, they're definitely not like brilliant ones. And and Michelle, that is correct. You you are supposed to if you have a really good set of knives, you can uh, send them out and be sharpened. I use a honing tool. It's just to to, to put the little edge on it, but they they really need to be uh, sent out and sharpened professionally. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't Thank know, you like, my neighbor over the road does actual professional knife sharpening, so I'm quite lucky with that, but I do actually oh. have one as well. Nice, nice. But, um, yeah, but my knives are not expensive. <laughs> okay. I if, I, that are. if I may ask, if you all can put in a... Um, uh, here's my here's my link tree if you want to join my VIP group on Facebook or any of the other platforms I'm on. But if you can put emojis in here right now while people are here on HAPS mm. to say that you broadcast and what you broadcast, that'd be really good. Because a lot of times we yeah. don't know who's broadcasting. I know that, like I know um, uh, Karen broadcast, Air broadcast, Deanna broadcast, uh, mm. going through here. Danny That's doesn't broadcast, but he's in everybody's broadcast. <laughs> I put my bio link in for all my other there socials as well. I know Michelle Graffiti, um, uh, Native uh, Graffiti, also broadcasts, but we need yeah. to know who broadcasts so that people can follow you on these. On these, okay. There you go. Lucia brought broadcasts also. She does health and wellness, I do believe, on, yeah, on her yeah. broadcast. All right. I think um I think we're unless you have any questions for us we are again looking for food broadcasters here on Haps we would love to show you how to how we do our broadcast if you have any questions I am sitting on the, I have my phone I have an um, iPhone on a tripod that can go back and forth and up and down uh, mm -hmm. let's see I do uh, space stream says Deanna all you want to know about the universe. That's yeah, very fast. <laughs> Let's grow the cooking community on HAPS, says HAPS. Yes, um, yeah. Karen is a food broadcaster. And uh, right now, because we are on <clears throat> uh, uh, landscape, I actually have my computer set up so I can see right where that I'm, I'm dead center on it. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. yeah, I'm using my laptop. To I rarely ever do two, um, two different things at the same time. One up and one down. I don't, I don't think I have the strength in my house, um, the Wi-Fi strength to do two up and down. Plus then I have a very small area to broadcast in. Yeah, I tend to do like, I have my laptop so you can see across here. And then I've got a, I don't know if you can see it, a pull out stand on the wall. Okay. And I do a, above the top as well. Above so you can see. Yeah. But I had some sound issues last time, but I think I've cracked it now because you can't actually fully mute the phone. So you have to mute the laptop instead but yeah i like to do two views so you can see usually you got na 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 a native graffiti says i've never done a cooking broadcast and she's a chef for a living i'm sure in the, it's in my future to cook with Gemma on a day yeah. off sometime there you go and yeah. we are looking for broadcasters for october 30th mm. 
Yeah, we had one planned, but then you started working again, didn't you? So, um, but we can definitely arrange one. I'd love to do one with you. Yep. All right. And uh, Karen do, uses her iPhone. Mm -hmm. Deanna uh, Cooper, she says, I love baking. Maybe one day I'll convince myself to do a baking stream. As yeah. long as you have everything ready to go, you're, you're good to go. I do a lot of baking, Deanna, if you want to join me. Mm -hmm. Um, I used to do, I haven't done any on Haps, but I did some on Periscope where I do cakes from start to finish and then like do all the piping and stuff on them because I used to bake the cake on one broadcast and you can never ever like decorate it or like mm -hmm. with cupcakes or anything. You can never decorate it until the day after because it has to be absolutely stone cold because if you're piping on it and stuff or like the buttercream and things, if there's any heat in the cake whatsoever, it'll just run off like oil. So you have to make sure it's absolutely stone cold. Um, but I used to do the making of the cake one day and then the next day, like do the uh, creaming and stuff and then um, let it cool down in the um, fridge for a while to set so that you can do the rest. And it was like, it was quite fun. Yeah, I didn't know about that being the next, the next day on the cake is much better. Just do the cake one day and yeah. then decorate it the next day. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Air says, just put bacon in your title and you will get people into your broadcast. And that is true. That is so true. Bacon, certain titles get people in. And make sure you use hashtags here on HAPS. The hashtags for cooking is cooking, baking, and tasty. Those are three popular um, uh, yeah. food hashtags here that you need to put on there. I also suggest using one, um, uh, your own hashtag. Like um, I use my own hashtag, Alexis C underscore can do, because if you mm -hmm. go on Google, you can see all, all the stuff that I do on all different platforms. Hello, mm -hmm. um, Jacinta De La Colina. Jesus, I think it's from Monterey, California. How are you doing? Uh, let's see. I would love to see you cook. Your Instagram looks so tasty, says Michelle to Jeeves. There you go. And D says she's too impatient for frosting. I say D, skip the skip, skip the cake and just eat the icing. I eat the icing right out of the can. Y'all know that that's my my downfall. I eat the icing icing out of the can. What I find lethal with the time difference because like I'm so I like, I'm at least five hours ahead. Yeah. So I can be sat in bed watching people making food and I'm laid there in bed and then I get the midnight munchies and I have to go downstairs and find myself eating at midnight. <laughs> oh, this was not bland. Oh no, that's not good. So uh, yeah, that's not, it's not great. <laughs> oh, Jacinta yeah. is from Monterey, Mexico. Welcome. I can't get the left and right thing. All right. I think that's yeah. it. I don't, I don't see yeah. any more questions unless you have any questions hopefully you get to do this over again and you'll get it down and be like oh my god this is a really easy egg recipe that we did today i'm looking at doing some um, baking uh, cooking or baking potentially this weekend if anyone wants to join me and then next weekend too okay someone said oh thank you yeah, your hair looks really good it's nice and straight today you don't have yeah, a I had it cut, like it was really long it was down to here so yeah. i had a lot like you can't see like I can't get my left and right so it's down to yeah. here yeah and I had it cut off because my last visit to the hairdressers they turned it blue and it wasn't oh, meant no. to be blue so I had to have it all anyway it's sorted <laughs> I had to, I had 12 inches taken off so that's why you don't see the braid anymore yes okay Jeeves says I'll do more cooking broadcasts Jeeves definitely sign up for the October 30th broadcast yeah, um, yeah. get get with Aiden he has the list hey Mark how are you doing five hour haircut yeah five and a half hours it took them to do my haircut <laughs> oh my gosh is that for the color yeah the color mainly because uh, it was because it had gone like a bluey greeny color yeah and they had to it took them so long to get the color out and then i had to lose a lot of the length because yeah it was darker at the bottom oh. so i've lost a good i've lost a good eight inch i think off my hair but anyway it grows <laughs> and it's a lot more manageable anyway. Mark says, I love when you make stew and air says with all this cooking broadcast, who's does the eating? I need, uh, yeah, I need to find people that live local to me so that they can eat it. <laughs> yeah. Same I'm here because I'm on a weight loss and I'm not, I'm not trying to, 
if I do baking, it is healthy baking. Uh, I try not to, to do high, high points oh, or yeah. high calorie foods. Well, I've lost now um, 10 stone, 11 pound. 11 um, pounds? Okay, 10, that's... Stone, 10 stone, 11 pound. Um, I don't know what that is in, um, let me think. Um, what know. was it that you, you did, like pounds? Uh, I do pounds. I lost 50 pounds. I don't know how many stones. That is. It's a lot. It's a lot. Big, big thing of dog food. 11 pounds. 10 stone 11 pounds is 151 pounds. 151 pounds I've lost. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a whole person. Yeah, I've that's lost like over half weight. my body weight. Yeah, over half my body weight I've lost now. Oh my gosh, how mm -hmm. long did it take you to do that? Um, about two and a half years, but yeah, it's, but I've lost quite a lot over the last year or so, but wow. Uh, didn't even realize that. two and a half years wow but, all right so dina says okay once she's in her new home she's going to ask one of us to do a baking stream there you go she says 3.57 stones wow good for you says air congratulations says emma uh, says uh karen to you emma emma oh thank you i'm having trouble reading <laughs> reading as long as we go along <laughs> You're much better with the comments than I am, right? I'm going to move. <laughs> I'm trying not to position the oh. uh, camera on the fact that I've not washed up. <laughs> uh, uh, Jeeves said it's 50 pounds is 3.57 stones. 3.57 stones. Oh, thank you. I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, I don't. I just asked the uh, device in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I forget she's over there. I won't say it. <laughs> oh, it was uh, so funny. I was watching... Um, Blaine on yes. his broadcast and he'd set um a timer or something on his broadcast now I didn't know this I'd left my phone uh in my room while I went to sort Thomas out I come back set myself uh, to go to sleep and the alarm no. wakes me up at three o'clock in the morning <gasps> and I'm thinking is Thomas messing me about again so you know how you can listen to the stuff on the thing I played it back and it's Blaine setting a timer <laughs> Oh my <laughs> set an alarm to wake me up at three in the morning. I'm like, so I need to name of mine. That's funny. I have not had that happen. Thank gosh, my Alexa is in the kitchen. I probably will hear it, but it would take me a while to get to, to figure it out. I bring out the Pepsi Max. I know you've got one nearby. Says Danny to Gemma. I do, but I haven't opened it yet. <laughs> Oh, all right well if if um hey, is here we can end the broadcast i think because we're we're ready i think we're almost done right we're gonna keep it short and simple here and again yes go for it yeah. so um let me uh flip us around i will put you down on my fluffy omelet that's half eaten but you can see it is still pretty she ate hers but this is the <laughs> fluffy omelet that we made you can see the difference i mean here's my finger okay so it is pretty pretty big all right mm. so i want to thank everybody for coming in and watching the broadcast please follow us for more cooking broadcast and um, if you want to be part of our cooking community, we welcome everyone to come in. Just reach out to us and let us know that you're going to be live and we can come in and help you through your stream. All right. So thank you for everybody for coming in and we'll see you all on our next broadcast. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. I can't show you my own. Life.